And then that guy is the one that's gonna go on and propel 1,000 to 10,000 pound aircraft. All right, I'm in. I'm ready to feel the thrust. <laughs> So this is the low thrust rig. We've got our five pound fan as well as a shoe blur that's producing about the same amount of thrust. This is the competing one? This is a really high quality shoe blur electric directed fan made in Germany. And you can see the swirl. Yeah, yeah. Lots of swirl in it. Yeah. These are carbon fiber blades, far fewer blades and stators than what we do. Theirs is far more expensive than ours. Okay. So now you can barely, barely hear, it. hear it. Yeah. And there's less of that swirl. It's more right. of like a straight line. For people who are not swirl experts, how important is that? If you think about the force, right? Any swirl is a deviation from just straight thrust. Yeah. So the less swirl you have and the more just straight thrust you've got, the more efficient you're generating that force. That makes sense. So it's yeah. just a true shot. All right, should we scoot down? We'll go. Yeah, big guys. So this one is going to put out Way more thrust. We start at 40 and then we're gonna ramp up all the way to 70, 80. Yeah, the bottom one again is a Schubler, but much larger. Why are you guys picking on Schubler so much? We're complimenting them. <laughs> They're the, the best Before out there. Before we kill them. <laughs> As Whisper's turbine kicked in and again mercilessly dominated Schubler's, I had a strange urge to put my body on the line in the name of aviation progress. Or maybe just for fun. <laughs> it's glorious. These turbines are meant to one day go on air taxis and planes and drones. And the military very much wants Whisper's technology so that it can fly things that see and hear near people without them noticing. 